Okay, in this presentation we are going to look at the gamma distribution, uh, the claim amount X in units of 1000 for a certain type of industrial policy is measured, is modeled as a gamma variable with parameters specified as the shape parameter lambda, alpha equals 3 and rate parameter lambda is equal to 1 quarter. Now, just to be clear, that's the shape parameter and the rate parameter, I'm spelling it out there. In some other videos, I may I had to make a guess as to which was which. Anyway, use the moment generating function to show that one half of x is this is a chi squared random variable with degrees of freedom six degrees of freedom. So chi squared uh, degrees of freedom equals six. Okay, so that's one half of x equals that. Okay, uh, use Tables are statistical software to show that the probability that a claim amount exceeds 20,000. Okay, so that's the probability that X is greater or equal to 20. Okay, remember we're dealing in units of 1,000. Okay, so uh, the first thing we have to do is decide what distribution. So we're, we're going to be using the moment generating function here. Okay. So essentially what we have to do is determine which of the two distributions we are using. And in fact, I clearly sort of stated there, it's the shape parameter and the rate parameter there. Okay, so it is this one here. This is the specification for the moment generating function that we are to use down here at the bottom. This one here. Okay. So it is, what well, is lambda? So that works out to be, actually, I'll just have it written down here. Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, I'll just go down here first off. So it is, the moment generating function is the expected value of e to the tx, and that is equal to 1 minus 4t. So that's t over 1 over 4. Okay, 1 minus t over 1 over 4 and that is the power of minus alpha which is minus 3 okay so t divided by 1 over 4 gives us 4 t there okay and that essentially is our moment generating function for uh, x now that's just how to get things started okay so we're sort of good so far okay now, what we're going to do here is actually, we're, we're on the topic of moment generating functions. We look at the chi-squared one as well. Because what we have to do is show that one half of our, uh, one half of x is a, is a chi-squared random variable. So the chi-squared distribution x is chi-squared with degrees of freedom k is a special case of the gamma distribution in that if x, which is gamma distribution, which is x is a, gamma around a variable alpha equals k over 2 and lambda equals 1 half using the rate parameter um, uh, using the rate parameter character par uh, parameterization of the gamma distribution uh, that's essentially in a nutshell what we're saying is that it's a special case if if alpha equals 1 half and we can specify sorry lambda is equal to 1 half and alpha is equal to k over 2 we can actually characterize it as a um chi, uh, chi squared distribution okay well, so we want to see if we can do that now this is the next part here the the moment generating function of the chi squared distribution with k degrees of freedom is as follows one minus two t to the powers of minus k over two okay and that is essentially very similar in structure to that okay if lambda is equal to one half, okay, and alpha is equal to k over two, okay, that's essentially the, the key thing what we're doing here, okay. So let's get going here. Let y equal to one half of x. So essentially, we're back on track now and we're going to start off here. So essentially, what we have to do is calculate the moment generating function of y, okay. And that is e, the expected value of e to the ty, okay? And y is x over 2. So that's the expected value of e to the t times x over 2, okay? And we could write that as m of x, the moment generating function, 
of t over 2. Okay, so if we write that as follows, so essentially what we have here is an expression for m of t. So essentially what we have to do there is just reply, replace t with t over 2. So when we have 4t, 4t over 2 means we end up with 2t down here. Okay, so we have that power there is still minus 3, which we can characterize as minus 6 over 2. So let's just go back here. Minus 6 over 2. So if we have uh, k as 6, we'll end up with minus k over minus 6 over 2 as minus 3 is what we want. That's essentially how we sort of demonstrate that this is a y is a, is a chi-squared distribution with six degrees of freedom okay excellent so that's that's the that's the work done really okay now uh, this is using statistical software i won't go into much detail about this what we're asked to do is find the probability i'm just going to use a programming language called r here for this okay and this is the probability of x being less than or equal to 20 okay and that works out to be 87.5 percent 0.8753 okay and the complement of that is uh, x is greater than or equal to 20 okay and that uh, that works out to be 12.46 percent so it's uh, what what i really am going to do here is just going to check does this accord for the chi-square distribution so probability of y less than or equal to 10, where y is our chi-squared variable. Yeah, that gets us the same number and also gives us the same number here. Well, of course it is going to give us the same number here. Now, uh, there are tables to do that. Uh, uh, an analytical solution would be fairly tricky. The... The cumulative distribution function for gamma variables and chi-square variables are not pen and paper exam type situation question, put it that way. Okay, now that's using a programming language called R. Those are the commands. If you type that in there, you get those numbers. There are tables there, but I'm not going to provide the tables. So that's how we will go about that. All right, we'll leave that there.